Explorers. And on our gratitude week, I have a great book. It's also a great book for Thanksgiving time as well. It's called Thankful. The author's name is Elaine Vickers and the illustrator's name is Samantha Cottrell. I think these are beautiful in pages. I would love to have all of those colorful books in my bedroom. Every year when the first snow falls, we make thankful chains to last us through December. It's hard to think of all the things to be thankful for in a whole year, so I start right in my own room. I'm thankful for a home where I am safe and warm, thankful for parents who read me stories and brush my hair gently, who whisper the same poem every night when they tuck me in. Good night, dream sweet things, let them carry you on their wings, and whatever tomorrow brings, I love you. I'm thankful for all those things, love and dreams, night and morning, for a moon and sun that always come back and for stars and candles to make my wishes on. I am thankful for my wishes that came true, a dog round and soft that wiggles and jumps when I am happy and comforts me when I am scared. I am thankful for a heart that beats and every breath in and out, in and out. I am thankful for a friend who waits for me at recess and a teacher who knows when I am trying my best. I am thankful for doors that lead to wonderful places and books that do that too, I agree. I am thankful for things that are warm, like soup and socks, and the spot underneath the covers where someone has just been sleeping. I am thankful for things that are cold and icy in my favorite cup, a cloth on my forehead when I feel sick, snow that softens the whole world. I am thankful for things that are soft and fresh like laundry, bread, and moss on rocks. For things that are hard like pedals and handlebars and a smooth road for riding bikes with friends. I am thankful for stop signs and seat belts and things that keep me safe, scraped knees and ripped jeans and things that can get fixed. For wind and sand, but not at the same time. I am thankful for color and for pencils and paper to tell my stories. My ideas keep connecting one to another to another until I am too sleepy to think anymore. Come, my parents say, let's get you to bed. As I pull the quilt to my chin, my parents say those special words, good night, dream sweet things. Let them carry you on their, on your, on their wings and whatever tomorrow brings, I love you. Tomorrow, my family will read aloud the first links in our thankful chains. But tonight, all of the things that I'm thankful for stretch around my window like a fence, like a frame around a picture of the thing that I am thankful for most of all. Good night, world, I whisper, and thank you. The dust jacket, my friends, is different from the cover, which I know is always exciting. Underneath the dust jacket is her thankful chain. I think this is such a great idea because we have so much to be thankful for. Maybe sometimes we forget all the things that we have to be thankful for, and I'm gonna make a thankful chain with my kids. Um, it would be great just to write down all of those everyday things that like school, and sunsets and ice cream, um, so many things. I'm very grateful for my job at Washington and being able to read to each one of you. That brings me a lot of joy in my life. I hope you find something that you're extra grateful for this holiday season. Bye, explorers.